There's a story that I heard this last week, and maybe you heard it too. And it's just the greatest story. Um, so these two guys, this is a true story. They get on a boat, okay, they live in the Solomon Islands, which is down kind of near like Australia, right? They get on this boat, and they're just gonna go to this other island. And they know what they're doing, they're prepared, this is not like just like some guys who are like goofing off. They know what they're doing, they're prepared. But they're gonna go on this little journey, it's not that far, they have everything they need. But as we have learned in the past, the sea cannot be trusted, right? And so, this storm blows through, and uh, just completely, you know, wreaks all the havoc. And um, takes out their communication system, takes out their GPS, completely blows them off course, they can't tell where they are. Mayhem, right? So, storm clears up, they look around and they're like, we don't know where we are. And we don't have any way to get back where we were going, and no, we can't tell anybody where we are. And they're stranded at sea, right? I hope you're laughing because you know what the, yeah. anyway, I know, this is a great story. Okay, so these guys, they have nothing because they were just going like basically like across the water street, like it wasn't, they weren't going that far. So they had some oranges to keep them sustained. They found coconuts floating in the water. They went out and like got the coconuts and that kept them alive. They had to collect rainwater to drink. 29 days, they are trapped at sea, like just hopeless and just utterly terrible. And then they were rescued. Okay, it's a great story. Get in there, I could write a song about it, it would be totally boring. But here's what happened. They ask the guys, like people are like, tell us about your experience. It must have been totally harrowing, you must have been so afraid, right? And um, the guys were, <laughs> This was their response. They were like, you know, while we were out there floating in the water and fighting for our lives and, you know, trying to survive, we didn't know what was happening in the rest of the world. We didn't have to hear about COVID or anything like that. And then, this is a, this is a direct quote. I memorized it because I, I love it so much. The guy said, I'm looking forward to going home, but... I guess it was kind of a nice break from everything. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, why am I jealous of the guy who was just stranded at sea for 29 days? But I totally get it. Anyway, so I'm reading that, and I go out and I cut the grass, and by the time I got back in the house, half the song was written, and then I was like, well, I can't like stop writing this song. I'm like, I wish I wasn't writing this song. And then like, I finished the song, I listened back, and I was like, oh my gosh, that is really dumb. <laughs> but what am I going to not sing it for you? I mean, I didn't write this to throw it away. Anyway, so, sorry again, but here comes the dumbest song that I have ever written. We're going to see how it goes. Okay. You guys look really friendly. <laughs> Mind you, I cannot see you because the lights are really bright. Okay. Trip, the storm came quick and then zip. 
me out of my thoughts. online. 